Welcome back to episode number two of Speak of the Devil. On today's episode, we'll be recapping one of the most successful fall sports seasons in West Lafayette history. First up, we have Girls Golf, who had a historical fall season, winning their first sectional title in 21 years and second in school history. Now up, we have the boys tennis team. They went 16-3, winning a sectional title over Harrison. Although the team didn't make it past a tough combo team in the regional championship, However, number one single player, Ada William, made it all the way to the single state championship and won against a North Central student. He is the first state champ in Tippecanoe County. Up next, we have football, who went 9-1 on the season and going undefeated in regular season. They were Hoosier Conference champs, but lost to a good Verbuff team in the first round of sectionals. To follow up from the first episode, Moa Monaday has announced his commitment to Purdue. Boiler up. Up next, we got girls soccer. The Red Devils went 13-5-1 on a sectional championship season. They made it all the way to the regional championship where they sadly lost to a very tough Mishawaka Marion team. Next up, we got the volleyball team. The Devils went 28-3, winning a Hoosier Conference championship, a sectional championship, and a regional championship. They made it all the way to semi-state where they lost to a very good Belmont team. Next up, we have boys soccer. The Red Devils won 18-2-2. They were Hoosier Conference champs along with sectional champs, regional champs, and semi-state champs, and state runner-up. They lost to Buff Jesuit. Up finally, we have boys and girls cross country. The boys cross country team had two representatives in the state race, Elijah Stenberg and Henry Belochtis. Elijah placed 117th and Henry placed 148th. The girls team, however, made the whole team made it to the state meet and they placed 24th now that fall sports have ended we are now going into the winter sports seasons we had the chance to talk with new head basketball coach coach van osdale and unified track coach and club sponsor mr jost i'm here with coach van osdale coach as the new head basketball coach at west lafayette how does filling in after coach wood feel um, obviously huge um, shoes to fill, right? Mm -hmm. And I know uh, coming in that I was never going to fill those shoes completely, and then, uh, it really wasn't my job to fill those shoes. My job is just to come in and be myself and, um, you know, try to just be myself and get to know the, all the kids and uh, the players and, and try to do what I can do and, and what I can add to the program. And obviously he's had so much success. Um, I hope to just have a fraction of the success that he had. So last year you won a state championship at Carmel. Mm -hmm. So what has the transition been like coming from there to here? Uh, yeah, I think the biggest thing, the biggest difference from Carmel to here is obviously the size. Mm -hmm. um, what I've learned as you move uh, places is the fact that the kids are pretty much all the same everywhere you go. Um, different sizes of schools that I've been at, the size is the one thing that's different. The, the facilities as far as gym space and all that, it's definitely different. And the num amount of kids that come out is obviously different. But um, other than that, there hasn't been too many mm -hmm. uh, things that have been tough as far as the transition goes. So what's your favorite movie? Ooh, favorite movie? Might have to go with Remember the Titans. Okay, okay. Um, I kind of like the sports movies. Uh, I like kind of war movies as well. Mm -hmm. One growing up that you guys have probably never seen or heard of was The Patriot. I like it. I've seen that movie. Okay, it's Mel Gibson. That's I like that. Um, trying to think of what else. There were there were some good ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are your aspirations for the season? For the season? Um, I think... My big thing with any team that we have is that I want to be playing better or the best that we can possibly be playing in March. So um, if we haven't made any strides from November 8th, which is Monday, uh, from March, then that's a problem that we have. But um, get better every day. Um, make sure we focus on the little details that we need to focus on and improve uh, constantly. Okay, last question. What's your favorite cereal? Favorite cereal? I'm not a healthy guy. I mean, I. 
obviously teach health and whatnot, but I prefer like the sugary cereal. So I'd probably go with like peanut butter Captain Crunch. Okay. Um, trying to think of what else I eat. You know, some of the chocolatey, not good for you cereals is what I'd go for. Alrighty, this is Coach Van Oisdale. Hi, I'm here with uh, Unified Track Coach and Club Sponsor, Mr. Jost. Mr. Jost, how is the WL Unified season going so far? The, the year's going pretty well. Um, we are, are back kind of meeting regularly um, before school and um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to, to building into the, the track season uh, in, in March. We had kind of a smaller crew last year, so hoping that'll grow. Um, We'd initially hoped to, to pull some things together for flag football this fall, but it, it just didn't happen. So I'm um, looking forward to, um, yeah, to getting back with, uh, with track this spring. Mm -hmm. um, what sports events for WL Unified have you, ha do you have planned? So um, we've got kind of two different aspects. So the, there's the athletic side of things. So um, in previous years, we've done um, some combination of flag football, bocce, um, and unified track, um, so all, all three at, at various points. Um, but this year, I, I'd say track will probably be the one sport that we um, are participating in this year, and, and yeah, we'll see what, what happens in the future. Um, and then there, the other side is there's like a, a club aspect, so we're, we're meeting before school uh, once a month and then have some other activity um, that, that takes place, uh, usually outside the building. Um, so like uh, the group went to Boo at the Zoo, together right before Halloween, um, played kickball earlier. Um, so kind of a mix of sort of formal and informal mm -hmm. activities. Uh, which aspect do you like the best? Do you like the uh, sports aspect or like the club meeting aspect? That's a good question. Um, I, I think they're both they're both important. I mean, connections, you know, we, we spend most of our time, you know, sort of at school. So I think those connections at school are valuable through the meeting, but uh, you know, as somebody that, that ran uh, you know track in high school, uh, I think having the opportunity to participate in a, a school sponsored sport is a really great thing. So um, I'm, I'm probably a little more partial to the the track side of things after school, but but I think both matter. Okay, great. And our final question: What is your favorite dinosaur? Uh, favorite dinosaur. Um, man, I, I don't even know if I ever saw that movie, but I thought it was kind of a funny scene. Um, some animated movie from like five or ten years ago um, that had like a dinosaur that was like trying to get in somewhere and had small arms and was kind of funny with that so I don't know if that's a, a t-rex I, I don't know my my dinosaurs very <laughs> well but whatever I'm dinosaur I'm thinking of from that movie scene is, is what I'd say is my great favorite. great all right thank you for the interview Thank you very much for watching this episode of Speak of the Devil. See you again next time.